Happy Wednesday. I almost said good morning, but I missed it. I missed the morning. So, good morning. Or, it's not good morning. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I am just going to be doing a very um, light makeup edition today. So, whenever you get on here, please say hi. And please feel free to sprinkle this video. S-H-A-R-E. Facebook world does not allow you or doesn't like for you to say that word, um, which is why my lives were cut off <laughs> the other on Monday. Um, so sprinkle them. Apparently I'm allowed to say the word sprinkle. <laughs> so sprinkle away. <laughs> I'm just going to be doing a really, really light edition of makeup today. So if you are someone who just loves a more natural finish, then this is definitely going to be for you. It can be super, super quick. Um, makeup tutorial. <laughs> Although I'm always, I am going to be talking. I tried to fix my hair before I got on here, and I was trying to do it in a hurry because um, Coco, um, she is with my brother right now. My brother is here. He got in last night, so I'm super excited to have him here. Um, but I was trying to be quiet when I fixed my hair. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to do <laughs> because I have to be like so strategic with my videos you know I can't it's never just like a quick I'm gonna hop on live real quick and you know throw on some makeup like I have to be strategic with it and get stuff ready for Coco first because you know <laughs> she's a whole <laughs> she's a whole other area so whenever you get on here please say hi let me know what you're up to today um today is Wednesday so my son has nature school every other day of the week he is homeschooled by me um <laughs> but on Wednesdays he does go to nature school it's just a fun little co-op for kids that are homeschooled and um we did that and made breakfast when we got home um and just kind of been hanging out we went on a little bit on a little walk and now I am here to get ready with everyone show you how to basically we're going to do we're going to use minimal products create a very natural finish and I'm actually going to use my BB cream. So this is a beauty balm. It's a collagen. Um, hi, Lois. <laughs> it is collagen beauty balm. So it's really, really good for your skin. It has um, argan oil in it. It has O extract. It's just, it's amazing for your skin, truly. <laughs> so if you, you know, are wanting, this is basically a tinted moisturizer. It's got tons of different moisture in it. But my cheeks have been rosy. Um, my autoimmune is really flaring up right now and it has been for about a week. Um, and I noticed last night that my cheeks were starting to get really rosy and I know that that's why I've just been feeling, I've been feeling really off lately, um, because of my autoimmune. It's been, it's like, it's trying to flare up, but my body is trying to fight against it. So I have acupuncture on Friday evening, so I'm super, super excited. I don't know if any of you, you know... Um, is anyone on here like into acupuncture? It's literally my form of, um, how do I want to say healthcare? Like I don't have a primary doctor. Um, the only reason I saw a doctor like within the past couple of years is because I was, I was pregnant and my acupuncturist couldn't deal with that. <laughs> um, but I saw her through pregnancy. Obviously she just couldn't do baby stuff for me. Um, I'm like 100% swear by acupuncture. It's my number one form of healthcare, anything homeopathic, and you know that's actually healing for our bodies is right up my alley i have spent so many like so much time over the past few years trying to detox my body from just autoimmune detox from being on um, prescription medicines and steroids my like the first half of my life um so i just really try to take care of myself in a different way and I wish you could feel my face right now because this stuff makes it so soft. And this is a kabuki brush, okay? Isn't that fun to say kabuki? <laughs> this is a kabuki brush. I want to say like $8. And it's vegan. And it's so awesome for your foundation. It makes it go on so smooth. So I always say that, you know, a lot of people will go back and forth between using a foundation brush or a sponge to put on their makeup. And I prefer... Um, one of these a kabuki brush or some sort of foundation brush like that and I always say if you have um, textured skin um, acne scarring Mature skin any sort of texture on your face. You're gonna want to use 
more of like a kabuki brush type of foundation brush versus a sponge because with a sponge what you're doing is like packing your product in even farther and like kind of enhancing what you're trying to um what you're trying to cover up and i do apologize for the lighting in here this is not my favorite place to do my makeup um, but I was just trying to make it easier for Coco and my brother, and I can already hear her out there yelling, so <laughs> I probably should have just stayed where I was. Um, but whenever you get on here, if you wouldn't mind sprinkling my video, I would really, really appreciate it. It really helps me grow my network, expand my network, and you know that I have a mission to grow my network to having at least a customer and a teammate in all 50 states. So if you didn't see my map, like scroll down on my feed after this video and look at the map that I posted. I think I did that on Monday and you'll see like there's plenty of room for growth. So um, please feel free to sprinkle this for me. So to help me expand my network and get the word out, I'm always sharing how great this opportunity is. And I'm actually going to do a whole thing tomorrow for you on this opportunity. Um, that I'm just super excited to share. I was going to do it today, but I'm like, let me just, you know, tone it down. Like, let me do my natural makeup look and then we'll do something else. So I'm not like throwing everything at you all at once, but I'm always sharing tips and tricks for your makeup. Um, I love beginner style makeup. That's just my jam. Um, and I'm always just sharing the good stuff. So please feel free to sprinkle me around. You never know who in your network could benefit from hearing what I have to talk about. Um, and you can't just assume that no one wants to hear it. Just like I can't assume that no one on my new, on my network wants to hear it. So assuming is not a good thing to do ever. So now I put on my light ivory concealer. I use the concealer stick because one, it's full of antioxidants. So I know it's good for my skin. And two, I love that it minimizes my pores. And I never have trouble with my concealer creasing under my eyes when I use the concealer stick. I just love it. So I put a little bit under just to highlight my face. And now I'm using my, I got a little too much right there, close to my eye. I am using the newest brush that Pharmacy just launched. So this is a concealer buffer brush. Doesn't that look awesome? It's so cool for doing exactly what I'm doing, just blending out your concealers. It's perfect. Perfect. And then I'm going to, how do I want to do this? Okay. You know what? We're going to keep it simple. So I've used my, I did put my makeup primer on first. This is going to help um, smooth out your pores. It's going to help them appear smaller than what they are. This is going to keep your makeup from sinking into any fine lines or wrinkles. I have girls, I have customers, I should say women who order this primer. They don't even wear foundation or anything on their face. They just love how this feels on their face. Like this stuff is legit and it's $12. Our products, if you don't know, you haven't heard me say yet, I try to say this on just about every video I can because this is so important. Um, and I just try to speak from experience that the reason that pharmacies products are so affordable yet high quality and yet effective is because we are a part of an, we are an integrated company. We have a huge eight building factory that we grow our ingredients, we make our ingredients, we make the labeling, we make the packaging, like we do the whole nine yards. We don't have <laughs> thousands of different, I shouldn't say thousands, we don't have hundreds of different third party vendors where we have to get certain ingredients from um, or certain labeling or packaging. Like pharmacy does all of this, all of it. So that's how we are able to keep our money in house. You know how many families they can, they are helping just by having an integrated company thousands of families they are helping by keeping our stuff in-house versus sending it out elsewhere and in doing that without you know having all these third-party vendors we're able to keep our products high quality very very affordable and which also keeps our compensation plan top-notch like we have we are only two years in the usa and we have the number one highest paying compensation plan in u.s and it soon will be in North America because September 1st, we are launching in Canada and Mexico. So soon we will have the number one highest paying compensation plan in North America, which is pretty freaking awesome. Okay, so now I'm using my Peach Bite palette. 
and this is a basically just a full face palette but I'm gonna show you how you can use it besides just on your face and what I'm using is my bronzer to first warm up everywhere and I always pull it down my neck I just like to keep things you know like pretty subtle and all one tone Okay, so what I've used so far, I've used our primer. I know I got kind of sidetracked. <laughs> used our primer. I used my Beauty Balm. This is my Collagen Beauty Balm. And that's all I've used from there so far. And then for my face, I just put on the bronzer from the Peach Bite palette. Just up here. This palette comes with a bronzer, a really pretty highlighter, and a super pretty subtle peach blush. So I am not going to be wearing blush right now. But I'm still going to use these colors that are in here. I'm going to use the blush and the peach, or the blush and the bronzer on my eyes. I'm going to show you. I'm going to take, this is just a fluffy eyeshadow brush. It's, um, this is from Pharmacy as well. I think this was like 5 or $6. This is one of their new. And normally I do wear an eyeshadow primer. Um, I love and swear by the eyeshadow primer that we have. I'm just trying to keep my products minimal right now and just very simple and natural just to give you an idea of how doable this is if you are truly on a strict budget and you know you can if you don't have oily eyelids you know then and you're on a strict budget then you can do without the primer if you do have oily eyelids I highly highly suggest you using an eyeshadow primer it's so important it keeps your eyeshadow and your eyeliner in place all day so I'm just using this fluffy brush to put this peach blush on my eyes and you can see it's really pretty keeps it super subtle and then I'm going to go in with the bronzer up here and still using the same fluffy brush and I'm going to go right above my natural crease so I have hooded eyes so if you are someone that has hooded eyes instead of putting your warm shade right in your crease like you're not going to be able to see it when you open your eyes right so if you're someone that has hooded eyes, what you're going to want to do is take your darker color, the color that you're trying to create space with, go right above your natural crease and start placing your pigments. And then you're going to start blending it out. And these are like just little tips and tricks that I have learned along the way. Sometimes I go kind of quick, but something that I really love doing is whenever I have customers, I get a lot of new customers who are beginners with makeup or just don't wear a lot to begin with. They're not quite sure how to do their eyeshadow makeup, how to wear their bronzers or their blush. What I like to do is I have just about all of the products from pharmacy. So when someone orders something for me and they aren't quite sure how to do it, I like to do a tutorial for them live like this, either live or if they don't want to, I mean, they're not in the video with me. Typically I just do them live so I can show everyone and then I send it to them through a messenger that way they can see it full access step by step it's slowed down a lot so they really get the idea of how to do their makeup and how to be more comfortable with it that's a huge 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 perk you have when you purchase through me someone that owns their small business because I'm gonna take that extra step in customer service and show you how to really use your products and how to get the most out of them if you do get a peach bite palette or this is another really pretty palette that we have that same concept this is called the three-in-one palette it gives you a bronzer highlighter and blush this is what I used on my mom when she was here and it is really really pretty as you can see that would be beautiful for spring hi sissy Coco is here now okay so, and then if you wanted to take it a step further, you could use the highlighter and put that there as well. I'm not going to just for the sake of keeping it more natural. So that is what I've used for my face. And just, um, I am going to use my eyebrow um, mascara because I always, always, always do my brows. That's like a must for me. And, <laughs> oh, she threw those. <laughs> Okay, so we're almost done. I'm gonna use my brow mascara. Brows make such a big difference. Now, I used to always hear, brows make you look so much younger, and I never quite understood it until I, you know, paid attention to the beauty industry more. And when you think about it, you know, like kids, they have full eyebrows. Like, they're not plucked, they're not, you know, they're not falling out from thyroid issues. Like, they just have perfectly little fluffy brows and as we get older ours just kind of start looking wonky from either falling out or 
years of over plucking, over waxing, the whole nine yards. But if you take the time to just fill them in, so I do have brow hairs. So I use the brow mascara. It's super, super quick, and you can see how much of a difference that just made. It just lifts your face, makes you appear younger. Don't I look younger, brother? <laughs> he said I look younger. <laughs> and then, something else that I really love doing is using a mascara primer. I started using a primer, it's probably been a couple of months ago, and I really, really like it. However, just to keep our products simple, Cool. you know we're gonna do tapered back and just to do minimum product I'm going to only use my mascara this is pharmacy has several different mascaras to choose from and I've tried several I love that I've tried so many of them um, because I can tell you which ones are going to give you the results that you're looking for with your mascara this is the one I always go back to always I like a lot of them but this one star look is my absolute favorite I love the wand and I love how it gets, you know, smaller up towards the top so I can really get into my inner lashes. It just makes it so easy. <laughs> but it does. I'm so used to using my mascara primer. I do love it, but I, I can still say I love this mascara just as much without my primer. And sometimes I can't tell if the primer really makes a huge difference or if I'm just, you know, if I just have it in my head now that I need primer. Kind of one of those things. Okay. So this is just one simple little coat of Star Look. It makes a really, really big difference. And you can see how easily I'm getting in here to these inner lashes, my corner lashes. It makes it way easier. And I think just for the sake of this being a simple daytime look, I am just going to keep it with one light little layer of mascara. There's that. I always do the bottom just so it makes your eyes pop a little bit more. I love, love, love Star Look. It never fails me. And I will say, um, this is one of the pricier mascaras. I believe this one's $19.90. Um, the, the mascara that my mom used when she was here that she is now hooked on is called Extreme Curl. That one's $14.90. And then we have another one. Our least expensive mascara is really awesome as well. Like, I was really skeptical to try it because of the price. But, again, I wanted to try as many as possible because I like being able to give my own personal opinion on things. I don't, I don't always like saying, well, you know, so-and-so tried it and this is what so-and-so said. I like being able to touch stuff and feel stuff and give you my own opinion on them. And then if I still have other people's suggestions, then I can share those too. But I just like to, I like to know. And it's just mascara, so. But the Zen mascara is really nice. So if you are on a true, true, true budget, trying to keep this simple, you're going to want the Zen mascara, which is $8.90. So I'll show you that. In just a minute. So this is just a light layer of Star Look. And then we'll put on a, lip, a really light natural lip color. And I'm going to show you a trick to toning down your lip colors too, if that's something that you need to do. Um, this is Zen Mascara. This is the one that's $8.90. The biggest difference that a lot of people, so I feel like this is important to know about Zen because a lot of people are picky about their wands. Zen is a silicone wand but it is a soft wand. Like it's super, super flexible. You can see how it's bending in there. I've used wands before that are so stiff, like, and they don't put any product on your lashes. Zen is not like that at all. Zen's really, really awesome. So let me really, really quick just 
pull out what I had used so I can show you for an easy breakdown. I'm going to use primer and this, and I am going to use this as well. Okay. When you're doing your lips, if you, especially when you're going to be using a matte lipstick, if your lips are super, super dry, like you're, you want to condition your lips anyways, like all the time. And a habit that I've gotten into with my lips, because I feel like they're always so dry or chapter, it's always something, um, especially if my body's, you know, flaring up, then it's like my lips always go out with them. And I'm always putting my moisturizer on my lips whenever, every morning and every night when I wash my face and do my skincare regimen, I always just go right over my lips. But we have a lip conditioner. And if you have like super, super chapped lips and you're wanting to use a, a liquid matte lipstick, something else <laughs> that can really help with your lips is to exfoliate them. Like our lips always have dead skin on them, just like everywhere else on our body. So exfoliate your lips. I have a really good lip exfoliator to offer you as well. I actually have one on hand so if you're local and you want one let me know or if you're not local I can always I can mail it out to you so my lips are nice and conditioned and then oh that I'm almost done she is totally going to the bathroom <laughs> that makes for a nice workspace okay so there you want to condition your lips so I put my lip conditioner on and then my liquid matte lipstick if you just wanted to keep it even more simple and you don't even want any color on your lips just add your lip conditioner in your set now if you put on your lip color and you're like oh my gosh that's way too dark for me I'm not used to that much color even if it's subtle like not all of us are used to wearing lip color. So what you're going to do is take your light ivory concealer. I'm going to put just a little bit on my finger. And I'm just dabbing a little bit right in the middle of my lips. Just like that. and it just makes them even lighter. It really, it's a good tool, a good tip to have if you are easing into wearing lip color. Um, I am obsessed with doing that trick whenever I wear darker lip colors because I am not used to wearing a lot of lip colors. So <laughs> I, anything that's dark, like Nude Essence, number three lipstick, matte lipstick, I absolutely love. It's beautiful, but I always have to put light ivory in the middle because it's a little too dark for me. So this is everything, and then what you would do when you're done is you want to set your makeup. I'm not a big powder person. I know some people are, especially if you have oily skin, but I personally am not big on powders. Um, I, do, I don't need that extra staying power. I use the Time Locker Spray. So if you have the extra $10 to spend on your makeup, throw this in your cart. Like you, It's going to last you a very long time, and you're, like, you're going to thank me because you're not going to be redoing your makeup all day long. You have your time locker. So we started with our primer. We have BB cream. We have our concealer to highlight our face. <laughs> we have our three, our face palette. Okay, we use this on our face and our eyes to, you know, get more bang for our buck. We have a mascara. We have an eyebrow mascara and the lip products. <laughs> That's what I use on my face. <laughs> Super simple. No, it really is simple. And the cool thing, the BB, the Beauty Balm um, collagen, or the Collagen Beauty Balm, I want to say is $15 or $16. If that's too much, if that's a little out of your budget, I have another option for you that's less than that. Let me know. If, um, if using this face palette is too much for you, let me know. I have options to swap out for you to make it a little more affordable. Um, if the Star Look Mascara from the 1990s is too much, it's not in your budget, I have options for you. I have a, you know, a less expensive option. 
so amazing quality. Um, this is what it is. This one's the least expensive mask or primer that I have. This one's only $12.90. Um, if the concealer stick is a little too much, I've got another option for you. Um, if you don't really want a matte liquid lipstick, if you're not wanting lip color at all, I still suggest a lip conditioner for sure. If you don't like brow mascara, if you don't have brows and you need more of a brow pencil like I used on my mom, let me know. I have options for you. So, oh, what is she doing? Dana? Is she shutting you out? Coco, move. Come here. Let Uncle David in. <laughs> she smells so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you need help um, picking out your products, suggestions on what you should use, let me know. I can color match you too. I color match everyone virtually. Um, I've been doing this for almost four years, so I'm pretty confident in my ability to color match people and help you pick out products, help you learn how to wear your products to the fullest, get the most out of them, um, and let me know your budget. If you're like, hey, I really like the way that your natural look came out today, but I need to tailor down the budget, let me know. That's something that I can help you with because pharmacy has, like we have a variety for everybody, for all different budgets. So we can go either way. Um, so just let me know what it is that you are wanting, what you can afford, and we will go from there. I'll make it work for you. Um, and I hope you guys have a happy Wednesday. Um, do something today productive. Make yourself happy. And um, what else was I going to say? Hi, Sheila. Um, oh, darn it. I forget what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to sprinkle my video. And I can't say, I can't ask you to S-H-A-R-E this because Facebook does not like that word. <laughs> Facebook knocks me off whenever I say that. So, Sprinkle away. You never know who in your network may benefit from what I have to offer them, what this company may have to offer for them. So please don't be shy and share it away. Oh, I just said it. Sorry, Facebook. <laughs> I hope you have a great day.